Nick Jonas returning to Broadway in revival of the last five years, opposite Tony winner Adrian Warren. Hello guys, it's Daily Gist here again today to gist you about the latest updates of your favorite celebrities. Please, make sure you click on the subscription box below so you be notified on any latest information. Thanks. The Jason Robert Brown musical, last staged off-Broadway in 2013 and adapted into a 2014 film starring Jeremy Jordan and Anna Kendrick is finally making its Broadway debut. Over two decades since its premiere, Jason Robert Brown's acclaimed musical is coming to the boards for the first time in a new production starring Nick Jonas and Adrian Warren. Directed by Tony nominee Whitney White, the revival will open in spring 2025 at a theater yet to be named. Tickets go on sale on Monday, July 22nd. News of the revival comes almost exactly 25 years to the date after Brown, a three-time Tony Award winner, wrote the first song for the last five years, June 15, 1999. It also comes hours before Jonas and Warren are set to present at the 2024 Tony Awards. Featuring a book, music, and lyrics by Brown, the last five years follows the demise of a relationship between a rising novelist named Jamie, Jonas, and a struggling actress named Kathy, Warren, across two different timelines. His perspective is told in chronological order from when the couple first got together while hers is told in reverse from the end of their marriage. I have always believed that when the time was right, the last five years would make its way to Broadway, Brown, 53, said in a statement. To have Nick and Adrian taking on these roles is a composer's dream come true, and to have Whitney's extraordinary guidance and vision is the hope of every playwright. It has taken 25 years, but the time is right. The musical first premiered at Chicago's Northlight Theater in 2001. A year later, a New York City production starring Norbert Leo Butts and Sherry Renee Scott premiered off-Broadway at the Minetta Lane Theater. That cast recording helped the last five years become a favorite among the industry, with songs from the show, including I Can Do Better Than That, Nobody Needs to Know, Still Hurting, If I Didn't Believe in You, and The Next Ten Minutes, becoming musical theater staples over the years. An off-Broadway revival at New York City's Second Stage Theater came in 2013, with Adam Cantor and Betsy Wolf in the roles of Jamie and Kathy. Two years later, a movie adaptation was released starring Jeremy Jordan and Anna Kendrick. In 2016, a one-night-only concert of the musical was staged at New York City's Town Hall led by Joshua Henry and Cynthia Erivo. That same year, a production of The Last Five Years opened in London with Bridgerton star Jonathan Bailey and Samantha Barks, a breakout of the 2012 Les Miserables film. A video of Bailey's audition has since gone viral, fans especially circulating it after he was cast in the upcoming Wicked films. Both Jonas, 31, and Warren, 37, are veterans of the stage. Jonas was last seen on Broadway in 2023 when he did a five-day residency with his band, the Jonas Brothers. He made his Broadway debut in a 2001 production of Annie Get Your Gun and went on to star in Beauty and the Beast and Les Miserables, the latter of which he reprised for the show's 25th anniversary concert. Years later, in 2012, the singer led Broadway's How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, replacing Daniel Radcliffe and Darren Criss. Warren, meanwhile, won a Leading Actress Tony Award in 2021 for her portrayal of Tina Turner in Tina, the musical based on the music icon's life. She made her Broadway debut in the musical adaptation of Bring It On, which featured a score by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Tom Kitt, and Amanda Green. The actress also starred in the 2016 musical Shuffle Along, or The Making of the Musical Sensation of 1921 and All That Followed, earning her first Tony nomination in the process. Viewers can catch Jonas and Warren on ABC's Good Morning America on Monday, June 17th, where they will be promoting the project. The 2024 Tony Awards will take place on Sunday, June 16th, at Lincoln Center's David H. Coke Theater and NYC viewers can watch the show on CBS and Paramount Plus beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Select winners will be handed out in a pre-show airing on Pluto TV beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time.